Alright guys, welcome back to the PDC World Championship Pro Tour with the Flying Scotsman Gary Anderson. It is episode 3 and we're absolutely on a roll. We are flying. It's a good job he's nicknamed the Flying Scotsman because we're out of control, man. There's no stopping us. We're into the third round of the UK Open. We're currently averaging 100, which is fantastic. If we can keep that up through the uh, career mode, then I'm pretty sure there'll be a lot of titles in Gary Anderson's future. He's a big Rangers man. Rangers just recently secured 55, so why don't we try and secure a title for Gary Anderson? Let's see if we can get him the UK Open. We are in the third round, and we should be moving up the order of merit. Let's have a quick look at where we are in the order of merit. We're 24th, but the guys ahead of us are not that far in front. You've got Dubridge, 54, Steve Beaton, 56, Coast Dompey, 57. Uh, really, there's not there's not a lot between the guys ahead. I mean, really, one good run here, and we could move right up here. So I don't know, depending. We could possibly get into the top 10. I know that's a bit unrealistic, but I'd say definitely top 16 is more doable. Um, I, I would expect this to be in the top 20 at least, because I think we'll leapfrog Dubridge, Beaton, Coast Dompey, probably Wesley Newton, and then it's like the Wayne Jones and above that are a wee bit further ahead. But it depends how further we go, guys. So let's try and win the third round. We'll get into the next round. We're playing Alan Tarburn. He's ranked 15th. He's a decent player, but I think we should be beating him. So let's go and do it. Alan Tabern, he's alright, like, but he's not really. He's not what like, you wouldn't fucking pick the guy in your team like if you were. Unless you were desperate, I suppose. But for boring bastard as well. So let's go. We don't want him in the, the next round. No, definitely not. So uh, let's go and take care of him. There's Gary Anderson then walking out. Confident. Feeling like the wind could be his. Look at his eyes bulging, man, as if he's been on the drugs backstage. Hopefully, hopefully we don't get drug tested after this match and we might pass. Disqualified at the UK Open. That would be a disaster. But anyway, here he comes, Alan Tavern. Genetic looking guy. Looks nothing like Alan Tavern. Hopefully he plays like Alan Tavern. And anyway, here we go. Uh, I haven't played this game in a couple of weeks, so I'm probably going to be a wee bit off. So here we go then. Anderson getting us underway. Um, I haven't played this in a while, so... Don't expect me to be that good at it, and obviously you can see from the start I'm, I'm not playing that good. Sixty. No, he'll be sickly disappointed with that. On tavern, what can he do? The tab. Can he collect the tab at the end of the night? Will the bar tab be on him, or can Gary Anderson pull it away here? Let's see. That's better. <laughs> or anywhere else for that matter, Sid. It's just not the standard oh, we Gary. expect from him. It's on 40, that's good there. So at the moment, our average foot the uh, the career so far. I know it's an early career, but still, we're free. Well, this is the third game. The first two games we've averaged, you know, I think on average 100. So, and at the moment, I know it's only two throws in this game, but we're actually averaging 100 as well. So, at the moment, we've been pretty consistent. And this is better for Anderson. This is much better. No, turn 40. As we look to take the opening leg here on throw. But Tavern, not giving up yet. He got, looks like he's got something, to, got something to say about it. Oh, that's not great for Anderson. That's well overshot there. So I'm going to finish on this. Uh, it's just about setting up then. Might go bull route. Uh, we've missed the bull with a 10, so oh, that was a disastrous visit there, only 50. And Alan Tabern can really put the pressure on here. Depending on what he does, and he's, that's not bad, he's left 1-1-6. One, one, here we go, 11 then, double top, to take the opening leg. And we've went too high, we've hit a 14, that is unforgivable. Unforgivable. Um... I don't even know what I'm, 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 I'm rattled. I'm absolutely rattled. Uh, we'll go 13 double, 13 double um, 12, I guess. And there you go. So we've left double top. Will we get a throw at it though? Alan Tabern. He needs treble 20, double 18. Will he find the treble? He needs it. He doesn't get it. Anderson celebrates in the back there. Anderson knows he, he's going to have a chance. So. 
Let's see what Gary can do here. Double 12 to take the opening leg. After almost making a mess here, not quite. Oh my god, Gary. We're we going double six now. And we sneak it in, so there you go. It was nowhere near the throw, but thankfully, because double six is like at the side of the board. As long as you get your accuracy right in, in terms of like, you know, sideways, then the power isn't really that important because you will get it in because it's a, a long way double, so we did all right there. Average though down to, it's not good, average down at about 80 at the moment. Only a ton. Beautiful. Alan Tavern now, <laughs> trying to find a way back in this. Doing alright at the moment though, he's, he's playing alright. So are we, I mean I know that towards the end of that leg there we didn't do too good, but we're playing alright, chance of 180. Um, well overshot that there, so it must have been the nerves. But so far this leg is uh, going pretty level then. Ton, ton, ton 40, ton 40. Alan Tavern bangs in an odd ton 40 here, so. And then we're back straight back in the red bit, so this is a good leg here. Can we get the 180 to leave 81? Again, we overshoot it, but it's a ton 40. It's good, it's good darts for us. 1 2 1 plays 1 2 1. Alan Tavern getting the first throw at it. He needs treble 17 bull. Is he going to get it? He has got the treble. So he's bull here for Alan Tavern to go 1 1 in this match. Alan Tabron sets up the bull and he's hit the 25, so now it's going to be our chance. Well short, well short, treble 17 now. For a shot at bullseye, can we get the treble 17? We can. So it's going to be bull for Gary Anderson here to break in the opening leg and we're nowhere near it. Drop well short, well short there into the free. And now Alan Tabron looking to make it 1-1. Hits a 12 now, he's on double six. We hit this in the last leg, and Alan Tavern hit it this leg. He does, just about sneaks it in. Just about sneaks it in. Alan Tavern then levels up the game at one leg apiece. The distance between them thinner than a fly's eyelash. You, you've got to love Sid Waddell on commentary. I mean, I think what has to be one of the best commentators of all time, and I don't mean darts, I mean any sport. I'd say he's definitely up there. So it's another ton, solid back-to-back -back tons in this leg, gives us a decent advantage over Alan Tavern at the moment. Well, that is until he, he banged these in. Holy shit, Alan Tavern then, <laughs> right back in this leg. I'm going to switch to the 18s, because our math is... I don't know if our 18s help us, to be fair. Probably not anymore. And there he goes, we're left 2 four, five. Don't know what that accomplished. Not much by the looks of it. <laughs> right, here we go. It wasn't a good throw for Alan Tavern either, so kind of lets us off the hook. But uh, another, it looks like it could be another treble with Fizzit here from us. Well, we sneak a treble in at the last uh, throw there, so keeping the pressure on Tavern, but Tavern. Not feeling any pressure. It's going to leave a finish here. It's a set, oh, 106, so good chance for Tavern to break here. We need to take this. First one's in, so now it's going to be treble 15. Double top. Can we nail it? No, we can't. Well short. Fucking well short. Oh my god. Two twos in a row. Jesus Christ. Oh no. We've only left 81. And Alan Tavern is going to have a shot at double 16 to take the lead. Can Alan Tabs do damage here? He can't, he misses, so now it's Anderson. 
gonna go treble on 18, yeah, double top. We was there a from the well, oh my god, that's bad. Now it's treble 12, double 30, uh, treble 12, double 13, or 12 bull. And we, we miss all together, so. Oh man, what is happening here? I was trying to leave double one just to be an arsehole, but we've missed it. We've left double 18. But are we going to get a shot at it? Doubtful. Alan Tavern looking to go 2 1 up. Oh no, Alan Tavern. The Tabs under pressure. And he met all oh, that well. I mean, Alan Tavern needs to take those chances if he's going to beat us. And there you go, Anderson then takes that 2 1. We lead uh, average currently 89, 89 for both players actually. So, I mean the standard isn't great, but at the moment we have the lead. That's a one eighty tab on first one eighty of the match. It's definitely uh, came here to win, no doubt about it. I mean, come on, Ando. <laughs> no, it's done. Oh my god, we went into the one there, that's no good. Can we somehow find this dart? And no, we can't, 41 just so. Alan Tavern, massive league, uh, leading this leg. You'd expect him to tie up the game. We've been under par. 360 now remaining. Can we half that with a 180? No, we can't. Oh, poor leg for Gary Anderson, man. Nine darts thrown and we're only at 300. Oh, Tavern doesn't even need to go the bull route, but he went for it anyway. He's left 72, so interesting there. Interesting choice for Tavern. Wonder if he's going to go next time. Could be treble 20, double six. Can we put pressure on? A 180 would leave Shanghai. And we ain't going to get that now, we 2 trail 20 sleeve a finish. And we ain't got that either, so terrible leg here from Gary Anderson. Absolutely god awful leg there. No pressure on Tavern whatsoever. Oh, and look at that Tavern, couldn't even hit a single 16. If only we could have put pressure on the guy. We could have maybe uh, capitalised there, but. Wasn't to be. Oh, not what he wanted. Gotta see it. Finally, we had a treble. By God. Oh, there he goes, a ton. We've left 140. Mad thing is, Tavern's not even had a great leg, bar that 180. He's had a very, very poor leg, but we've just uh, let him get away with it. And uh, Tavern now, double 10. He misses, so chance here for Gary. Could you imagine if we took this out? Here's the first one in. Oh, I missed that, you nail. Know. We'll just... Only a ton. We've left double top, though. If Tavern misses again, he... tell you what, he might. He's on double five here. He gets it in the end. We're just... We're far... We're too far behind in that, match, that leg there to... To do anything about it, so... You know, fair play to Tavern. Deserve to take that leg. But now we need to kick on here with our own leg, because... We've not been good enough. And it's only 60. Very, very poor performance so far from Gary Anderson. And Alan Tavern is right in here. Boom. <laughs> Done 40. But can Anderson bounce back with his first 180 of the match? He can. Boom, 180. 180. There you go. That's what we're going to see. Big Gary. Back in the saddle. But fucking hell, Alan Tavern is no laying down. 
140 for Alan Tabo. Gary Anderson now still needs a treble here. He needs a treble to leave a finish. And we don't get it, so our, our throw is completely under attack here. I mean, we had that 180, but the other two fists weren't even hit a single treble, so. Thankfully, Tavern letting off here. Oh, Tavern ends. Good last dart, but previous dart was shocking. Well, here we go, Anderson. Then this is good. We're back in. On the trebles, we should go the bull here. And we get the bull, so leave 71. Uh, Alan Tavern then 140, can no longer take it out. It's all about setting up. Till 20 would leave double top, and he leaves double top, so pressure's on us here. We need to make sure we get this. We're going to go 51, double 10. Oh, that was close. Felt like we had that there. I thought that was in. Here we go, top send for Gary Anderson. And a 3 2 lead. No, we're short, we're well short actually, so we see Alan Tavern, he's put it over, he's on the wire, he's on the wire again, can Alan Tavern get it in this time, third time, lucky, and he can't, Alan Tavern blows a massive chance there to take the lead, and Anderson wires double ten, he's a mile away this time, can Anderson sneak this one in, just about there, third heart. A wee bit lucky. When it left, this, when it threw it, I didn't think it was in. The aiming did look slightly off, but yeah, we got the job done in the end, so. Fair play. Alan Tavern now. He's not beaten for sure, I mean, we're still on throw, but. He must feel like he could be at least 3 1 up in this match. Or 4 1 up, should I say. Pushing the dot. Not lobbing. And another ton for Gary Anderson. Oh, I thought that would go in. Never could tell what I was expecting this game. Sometimes the misses are as important as the hits. Lost his situation there. Not enough width. Can we find a treble twenty? No, so an R60 there. Shaking the flock. Pushing the dot. Not lobbing. Not Tavern then scores a ton. It looks like Tavern's gonna make this free free unless we can Well that's terrible. That's much better though. Come on, another one of them. Gets his back in the leg. Yeah, so we're about 94 behind with Tavern throwing these. And realistically, I mean, Tavern you'd expect to take out next visit, especially after setting up like that, double 16, so all we can really do is try and hit a big score here and put pressure on. Too much girly downward pressure on that dog before release. And we, oh, we need a treble just to leave a finish here, so see it. we don't get it. 200 then. Now Alan. Alan Tavern makes it 3-3, free, free, so you know what, big, big dart there for Alan Tavern. Good score to just get the edge in this leg. The distance between them. Thinner than flies eyelash. Oh, another 60. God damn it, Anderson. Why are you doing this? And Tabon equals that score with the first dart, and then he doubles it with the second dart. And he almost trebled it with the third. So Alan Tabon in a great position. You have to try and break the throw. Gary Anderson just cannot find a treble. Much better, come on. That is much better, that's what we needed that. We were in desperate need of a big score there, that fizz it and we get it. And now Alan Tavern there had a good chance and he's let the pressure get to him. Gary Anderson will sneak in. Oh, treble he can. I think he's seen the average of Anderson at 85, which is no good. I mean, 85 might just be enough to sneak you past Alan Tavern, but if we were against someone good like Whitlock, Barney, 
Taylor. I mean, we'd be getting smashed here. It's all about setting this up. We need at least a ton you feel from this visit. We've got the treble, and again here we're going to go the bull route. If we go the bull route, you need to hit the 25. The reason we're going the bull route is to leave 96 a two dart finish. But if you don't hit the 25, then you know you're fucking everything up. That's what we did. It's a ton 40 for Tabum. And now we've got 98 trail, 20 double, 19. We ain't getting it. Oh god, right here we go. Um, trail 18, we'd leave double 12. So we set it up with double 12, but. It's all about Alan Tabern. If Alan Tabern can finish this, Alan Tabern on double top here to take a 4 3 lead and to break the Gary Anderson throw. Alan Tabern does it. So they go Alan Tabern. 4 3 ahead. Don't mess with uh, Alan Tabern. Normally has a tash in real life, but I guess the game shaved it half. Maybe they couldn't afford the fucking moustache, so they've uh, taken it half him. Maybe the moustache was holding him back because he's, he's playing well here without it. Come on, Gary. Lovely darts there. Joy, one forty coming in. Only a ton. Doing the lipstick. Lovely, be made up of this Right in the zone. Not enough width. Another ton. So back-to-back -to -back tons in this leg. I mean, tons are good, but when you're trying to break the throw, you kind of need more. I think if you're breaking the throw, you need to get a ton, then follow up with a ton 40. Yeah, we're just struggling here to hit the big scores. We're knocking another ton. I mean, it's been a solid leg. But I think solid's going to be enough to beat Alan Davern here. Lovely adjustment. He leads double 16 again, so. It's all about us putting the pressure on. We've got one treble 20. Another treble 20. We may as well go for this here. I know we should leave the double, but can we fill it up? We can't even fill it up anyway, so we've left 61. And Alan Tabern doesn't care because he takes it. He takes it to 32. So Alan Tabern in complete control here. Leads 5 3. Right, we need to wake it up here. Trailing 5 3, man. Come on. We're on the verge of. <laughs> going out of the UK Open to Alan Tabern. Can't allow that to happen. Scoring's all over the place. I mean, we get a couple, we get like one treble, and then the next start we're like two inches away from the treble 20. Too high, can we bring it lower? No, again, too high. And then too low. Trebles are already fading us at the moment. And Alan Tabern's right back in. If he breaks here and goes six feet up, first to nine, I think you've got to favour him. Yeah, that's a good dart. Come on, Gary. Come on, Gary. Alright, too high that last one, but here, 140, we'll take that. We can build on that. He's struggling here to say the least, Sid. Yes. It's crucial that we don't get broken again, and at the moment we're looking alright, especially after that last visit for Tabern. And now we're back in the trebles here, so we're looking alright. Can we fire this in and leave 101? No, we've had one disaster. I mean, it could have been, I guess it's not that bad, it's left us a nice round 160. Um, it just depends on what Alan Tabern does here. Alan Tabern should go the bull here, should go the bull. He doesn't, and he leaves himself 175, so. Alan Tavern looks like unable to count, unable to uh, switch his brain on there. 60. And now we require another treble 20, which we get followed by double top for a 160 finish. Nowhere near, <laughs> way too high. 
putting himself under pressure, you start to think about it. Only good thing is Tavern's not really left a good finish one four five, so we're gonna have another opportunity at this. Oh my god, more miles away. We might need these darts. Oh my god, we're nowhere near. Finally we get it in. It is 5-4, we're not playing well. The average is, we're averaging 83, Alan Tavern's average has always came down to 84, so he's not playing good either. We can just up her. If we can play the way we did in the first two games, we will we'll tank Alan Tavern, no bother. But it's all about finding that form. Even if we up our average to 90, we should be able to take care of Alan Tavern without much problems and here we go this is much better for Gary Anderson fantastic 180 there to kick off leg 10 this isn't a must win leg but obviously the further we go the less opportunities we're going to have to break back and we will need to take them sooner or later but oh god another one here could we get a 9 darter perhaps nah 9 darter comes to an end there you go ton 80 ton 40 one eight one after six. Uh, looking great here. Looking very good. Anderson, over the shot there. Come on. Alright. It's going to be the bull right here. A mile away, but I mean we're hitting eighteen. Definitely. We definitely could have hit something worse there. We left one, two, three. And we'll need to figure out what way we're going to go when we come back here. Uh, it's going to be treble 19 first. And we've had a three, so. Uh, the only good thing is Tavern's nowhere near a finish, so. There's not much pressure on, us on this throw. 100 left. Uh, we've got to go treble 20 here to try and set up the. Mile away, 80 left then. And Alan Tabern could put pressure on. But he needs another treble, realistically, to set up a finish. He hasn't done it, so. Here we go, it's going to be 20. Oh, I'm a f oh my god, disastrous there. Oh my god, we went. Aiming for we need that single 20 and we threw two darts at the board. That is uncalled for. That is just unforgivable. That could actually cost us this game, right? Come on. I thought we this time we were going to bust. I thought we were going to hit the treble 20 there. We almost did. There's a chance then. Come on. We do get it in the end. We level up at 5 5 in this first to nine game. Can we uh, go ahead now? I'm going to switch to the treble 18s because we're just not having much luck with the treble 20s. Alan Tablon is right back in here, hitting the trebles. Uh, we've supposed to go to the 18s here. So, going around the board, leaving 309. We're doing okay. I feel like since we went 5 3 down, I feel like we have upped the game a wee bit. We'll check the averages at the end of this leg, but we were at 83. I'd like, I think we would be about 85 now. I do feel like we have upped the game ever so slightly. I'm doing now for the 19s and for Melody. 250 left. And Alan Tavern looking to break back. Fires in a ton 40. Gets him right back in this leg. Anderson needs a treble 20 to leave a finish. And we find it, so 150 left. Tavern on 220, 200 now. Another 20 for Tavern. He, he leaves 160, but we'll have the first chance at this 150. There we go. Bull then. It's going to be Bull. 
Bill double top. We get the bull double top then. For Gary Anderson, I mean, this would be a magnificent finish. Oh my god, Gary Anderson, <laughs> 150 check out. My god, doesn't get much better than that. Treble 20, bull double 20. Bang, bang, bang. And Gary Anderson then takes a 6 5 lead here in the UK Open. That is going to be a dagger, a heart through the heart <laughs> of Alan Tavern. Now he's going into the fives and he's having a bit of a disaster here. So let's see if we can push on, try and break him in this leg. I'd say we would look at the average, and we did actually, I said it would up at 85, and we have up at 85. Tavern now down to 83, so the rules have reversed slightly. Oh, that's the dart of a real pro. These are the top sportsmen in their field. Look, Ooh, just sneaked that one in. Almost sneaked another one, and here we go. Can we get a 180? Oh, turn 40. And it's looking like a potential breaker throw here. Alan Tavern again going left into the, the fives. Can't find a treble 20. And into the fives again. So, Alan Tavern here having a bit of a disaster. And it's a great turn 40 for Gary Anderson, leaves 1-2-1. One, one. Right Tavern should switch, she doesn't, he leaves 1-7-6 and now Anderson here with 6 darts for a break of throw. We don't need to go for it, so we're just going to try and set it up, there you go. One will leave double top. Uh, 40 remaining when we come back. All our tavern can do is try and set it up, put pressure on, but we're going to have three darts regardless. To go 7-5 up and four legs on the trot. Boom, right in the middle. Does not get much better than that. And Gary Anderson then, 7-5 lead and is throwing here to make it 8-5. So, what a turner in here from Gary Anderson. Absolutely phenomenal. I thought maybe we were on the fair juggling out here, but we have, we have woken up. And we are firing some good darts now. Turn 40. I mean, if we keep playing like this, I think we'll up the average to 90 by the end of the game. And I did say 90 would be good enough to beat Alan Tavern. By thunder, said all is not lost yet, though. But he's really got to start it in his doubles if he's going to get back into this. Team. Not a bad fizz there for Tabum. Keep him as honest, but game we're back in. Well, that's not a good dart, that one there. Yeah, but we follow up with all 60. And it is looking like we're going to be leading 8 5 here. Even if Tavern finds a treble 20, we're still in front. Six darts for 180. I don't think we'll need six, so if we keep this up. 100 remaining, treble 20 would leave double top. We don't find it, but we've got 80 left, so we're guaranteed one shot at the treble, uh, one shot at the double. And Tavern doesn't even look like he can set it up, he can't even put the pressure on, so again, we could have six darts. Oh my god, a five. Tavern completely losing the plot here. And here we go, double top then for Gary Anderson to go 8 5 up. Ah, too high, just over. But we'll be back because Tavern is unable, the Tash is unable to uh, finish it here. So here we go, double top. Boom! 8 5. Gary celebrates, and now we're closing in. On a big win. Lovely dots. Finds that lipstick again. Amazing. If he needs any amount more. But turn forty tavern. Not lying down. Tavern's uh, wanting to 
prolong this match. Three one eighties apiece. He's really dictating the pace at the moment. I doubt anybody watching would want to be trying to keep up with this lad on this form. Nice turn forty for us. So keeps us in the leg. As we we like try and break him here. We don't want it to go eight six. I mean, Tavern's on an end daughter, so he wants to go. He wants it to go eight six for sure. That time he's just overthrown it either. And now we're back in again with the treble twenties. My God, what a, what, a, what a leg this is for both guys. Ton eighty, so ton eighty, ton forty, ton eighty, ton forty. One four one remaining. A one eight one remaining. Sorry for both guys. Tavern's going to have the first crack at it, and he leaves a one two one. Not the best there. So can we? Set it up. One six one remaining. Oh no! All right, here we go. We need to try and we're going to maybe go bull here, and we end up hitting a twenty. So we've left one two one the same as Alan Tabern. He's went into the fives now. He can no longer finish. So we're going to have a shot at one two one for the match. We will have a shot at one two one. Sometimes the here we go, treble 20 first of all, we don't get it, but treble 17 will lead the bull. We don't get that either, so... Uh, we hit the bull though, just to prove that we could get it, and we've left double 16, so... Alan Tavern gets double 18, he makes it 8-6. And now, this is a massive leg, if we win this, then we win the match, 9-6. If we lose it, then it's back on throw, so... Let's, uh, let's go off to a good start, Gary. That last dart sneaking in there, just getting us 100. Could be a big dart. Could be a massive dart. That was a poor visit, though, for Tavern. I do expect us now to see this out, especially if we keep them there. Nice turn 40. Pushing the dart, not lobbing. Smacking the 60, the smithering. One chance he's lost the weight on the 60. We're 99 in front, and oh my god, nah, surely Tabram. I think it's going home, and Gary Anderson keeps planting them there. You know you're in trouble. Another turn 40 with left 1 2 1. We've got nine darts for 1 2 1. And Tavern can't even get close, so here we go, 101. We'll just try and set it up. Tavern, why is Tavern sell? But mate, you're on 300, you stupid fucking idiot. I mean, come on, man, what is he doing? With less 62, not great, but again, there's no pressure here. Tavern's nowhere. And when we come back, it's probably going to be. Probably going to be treble 10, I think, double 16. Okay, we've hit a 15, so 7 double top. And here we go. To win the match, we were 5-3 down. Boom! We've won 6 out of the last 7 legs. And that is enough, guys, to get us a 9-6 win over Allen Tavern. In the end, look, we did up it to 90 average, an 89.97. So in the end, we're just too strong for Allen Tavern. We improved. In the latter stages, Alan Tavern could not. And uh, yeah, we, we advanced then to the next round of the UK Open. I believe it is the last 16. So, or it could be. It could be the quarterfinals, actually. Let's see. It is going to be the quarterfinals, actually. So let's see who's going to be in it. Osborne's beat Andy Jenkins 9-4. Uh, James Wade's beat Mark Webster 9-4. And Ronnie Baxter beats Jason Barry 9 1. So there is how the quarterfinals line up. We've got Simon Whitlock versus Phil Taylor, Mark Walsh versus Raymond Van Barnerfold, Gary Anderson versus Colin Osborne, and James Wade versus Ronnie Baxter. Let's go and see who uh, will be playing here. Let's see. So Whitlock beats Taylor 10 7. Massive win there for Simon. Barney, a big 10 3 win over Mark Walsh. And then up next, it is us taking on the Wizard Colin. I think that's his nickname, is it not? The Wizard Colin Osborne. I don't know. I'm not too sure. But we'll, we'll not worry about it for now. 
we'll take them on next game guys and uh, yeah, average then down to 96 after that pretty poor game but you know what we got through it in the end I'm really looking to see what the updated prize money is so I'm looking forward to it because we should we should rock up these rankings man can't believe Simon Whitlock's 14th in the world though I mean, phenomenal player and he's bound to go up like because he is you know he's just knocked out Phil Taylor there so he is just going to go up and up and up but I imagine we will so as well getting to the quarterfinals of this UK Open we're bound to have uh, you know progressed up the order of merit but anyway guys that's it for episode 3 make sure you tune in next time to see how we got on in the Gary Anderson uh, PDC Pro Tour career mode but that's it guys if you have any comments if you have any questions leave them down below make sure you leave a like if you haven't subscribed, get it done, and until next time, thanks for watching, and peace.